human movements are complex. At times the whole body is active, while at other times only the hands are. Scientists therefore distinguish between complex and manual action. But how are the different movements stored in memory? What is activated in neurophysiological terms? These questions are investigated by the scientists of the Neurocognition and Action Research Group. The research conducted here is interdisciplinary. It explores interfaces between cognitive psychology, biology, movement science, computer science and technology. Many research questions are application-oriented. One focus, how can human movements be optimized? For example, in competitive sports or rehabilitation. Another focus, how can movements in intelligent systems be improved? Scientists from a number of labs and disciplines work together on various research projects. The memory lab. Here different types of mental training are developed in order to optimize the techniques of athletes. As an example, scientists use mentally augmented technical training to study how movement sequences are stored in long-term memory. Okay, we are using here a whole bunch of methods um, to measure the cognitive architecture of uh, motor actions. And uh, one of these methods is uh, to measure the memory profiles or the memory structures, how the motor action is represented in the memory. Um, and therefore, the participants refer to their own structure and make decisions based on their own structure. At the biomechanics lab, scientists use an intelligent camera system to measure movement parameters. For example, it is possible to capture joint angles and torques in real time. This data is then used to understand how individuals learn motor skills and how novices and experts differ in their control of movements. Eye tracking technology is utilized to examine the eye movements of athletes. This measuring system can detect the time point during the movement individuals fixate on a golf ball. Such measurements give insight into the cognitive processes of athletes. On the basis of such data, their attentive behavior can be trained and improved. Eye tracking studies reveal that highly skilled players can extract more visual information than intermediate or low-level players, especially in the early onset of a movement. The Sensory Motor Lab. Here, scientists investigate grasping movements and manual intelligence. The findings provide interesting insights into the neuronal and cognitive control of human movements. Although we don't really pay attention to how we grasp or plan our movements in advance, there is a lot of cognitive planning that goes in with that. For example, we often grasp things in an uncomfortable manner so that when we go to place them at the end, our hands or our limbs are in a comfortable position. At Billerfield, we're actually investigating this effect using a variety of different experimental methods and bringing in a lot of different disciplines and individuals from around the world to actually examine this in its full depth. The research group Neurocognition and Action cooperates with other scientific institutions at Bielefeld University, such as the Center of Excellence Cognitive Interaction Technology. Within these cooperations, results of the empirical research on human movement are implemented into intelligent systems. For example, how can a robot grasp or move in a more human-like manner? Through various interdisciplinary cooperations, University Bielefeld has become an internationally unique environment for innovative research. Ultimately, we want to bring this intelligence into common robots in order to make them more useful. A robot becomes useful when it can manipulate objects and when it is as dexterous as a human hand. And for us, the human hand, of course, is the pinnacle of sophistication and we want to come closer to that. And for this, also the cooperation with the Neurocognition and Action Group is a very important one because they deal with human hands. We know about how limited our knowledge concerning human action is. And so it's possible to generate new research questions about elements and structure of manual action. So we could say, all together in SciTech, we are making progress to gain a deeper and a better understanding of manual intelligence. Human movements are complex. 
But how are they controlled? What neural systems are involved? How can performance be optimized? The Neurocognition and Action Research Group investigates these fascinating research questions. Thank you.